Good morning, everybody. Today's Wednesday, February 28th, 2024. Well, <clears throat> forewarning for everybody looking for some fishing action, this video or vlog is not going to be jam-packed with fishing. I've got a bunch of stuff to do this morning, but, and uh, I got to go down south to take care of it, uh, Palm Bay, Melbourne area. So while I'm down there, I left a little bit early. I figure there's a few spots on uh, Turkey Creek, which I have visited the Turkey Creek before. There's at least two boat ramps and a kayak launch area on Turkey Creek that I want to go recon. Just check it out. I like to go check things out before I, I take the trailer and the kayak. I like to get a feel for it with the parking, <clears throat> the water, all that kind of stuff. So I figure, hey, I gotta be down there anyway. We'll go down there and we will go recon these spots out and see which one maybe we wanna launch out for. Cause it's about 45 minutes drive south for me. So, you know, sometimes I feel a little bit better if I've already kind of checked it out. I got, you know, I would hate to drive that that time and then be trying to figure out which ramp I want to go to. I think one's got limited parking, so I mean we'll check into that. And then also too, you always want to look at the the quality of the boat ramp too. They're not all the same, so keep that in mind. Like I said, if you're just here for the fishing action, just wait for probably tomorrow's video because uh, I will be getting back out and doing a, a full four or five hours of fishing. So anyway, guys. Enjoy the, enjoy the content, and if you're ever in the Palm Bay, Melbourne area, these are some good locations that you can launch a boat and uh, a kayak. So, I'll catch you over there. and you're in the water, you should be able to fish. I've seen articles of people fishing the sanctuary area. So, I have seen people fish through the sanctuary area, but you can't fish off the shore here because it is a sanctuary. It is a really place, pretty place if you guys want to come out here and just go for a hike, check things out. I'm not too sure about this one just because there's not really a spot for me to park the trailer. So this one's more so for people to have their kayak on the top of the car or something like that. But um, we'll see what the little kayak launching point looks like. Because like I said, there's some, some decent fish in here, but and no one could fish from the banks in here. So might be pretty good. Anyway, check this out. I'm gonna go on a little nature hike. You know, it's crazy. Palm Bay is a pretty busy little town, but and this is like just in the middle of it. It's a nice little escape. All right, I'm not sure, right or left? Let's go left. Dang, look at that Spanish boss. Look at all the bike trails. Man, I would have loved that as a kid. Okay. This is the launches this way. Alligator and snake bites. Use caution. No swimming or fishing. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that just means on the bank. They can't tell you you can't fish in the water. Would you get your trail your kayak down this? That's not gonna be doable. So this is more so for those kayaks that uh yeah. A heavy kayak with wheels. I don't know if I would attempt it. It's 
so we'll have to check out the next one. This is definitely for more of the smaller little kayaks. I mean, it's just like a little wooden, little wooden ramp here. You got the bridge over there. It is pretty in here. This would be really cool to kayak fish, honestly, right through here. It looks, yeah, he might have to do a little weedless jig, something something weedless set up just because, I think there's a turtle under there, just because there's gonna be a lot of debris in this water. So you might wanna go a little heavier, heavier line, heavier leader, and more of a weedless setup. But yeah, this spot here, let me put a, a thing right here on the maps so you guys know which spot this is and that this is probably a, if you have a bigger kayak like mine, you can't go up there, you can't, I mean, you could, but the chances of it, yeah, it just wouldn't be worth it. And then you could try and squeeze along the edge here, but, whoa, no, no, definitely not. This stuff is slippery. It's like a, plastic great yeah so all right well this one doesn't really i would say if you're just you got one of those kayaks that you can carry yeah if you have one of the kayaks that you can carry this is primo launch point i mean there's no one here it's beautiful nice little wooden ramp to launch in be careful walking down the steps it is a little slippery but um we need to find a spot where we can launch our bigger kayak. That's what we need to do. So I'm gonna head over. There's two more spots. This is the only one that doesn't have, isn't classified as a legit boat ramp. This is just a kayak launching point, which makes sense. I guess my kayak's more in between a skiff and a, a kayak. But anyway, I'll catch you at the. Uh, the next spot i think the next one hang on let me see what the name is all right so yeah the next one i'm going to go check out i think it's called geode geode g o o d e something like that but they definitely have more of a boat boat launch type area so let's get after i'm pretty sure it's pronounced good park so uh apologies for uh mispronouncing it This boat ramp looks a lot better. Uh, I just asked that guy, to, just so I could confirm it for all you. Yes, if you launch here, and then you paddle into the sanctuary area, you can fish. There is nothing that states that you cannot, you know, they can't own the waterway. So, and if anybody gives you crap, just remember, in Florida, it is, it is a crime, it is illegal to harass a fisherman or a hunter that is rightfully hunting or fishing so that's what's cool so if we launch here it might be a little bit of a trek but if we kayak that way towards the sanctuary we will be able to uh fish there so that's really cool it's uh it's a browner water definitely probably a little bit more nutrient rich idle speed no wake this looks really cool. And then out, out that way um, is the mouth from this. This is Turkey Creek, and then it meets the Indian River over there. There's a fish that just jumped right there. I know up in the sanctuary in the summertime, <laughs> I've seen a lot of juvenile tarpon up in there. But very cool. Well, I think instead of checking the other boat ramp, we'll check that one out on the way out, but 
besides the one guy launching out, there's no one here. I'm thinking maybe we'll try and fish right here. Just for a little bit. I only got like 30, 40 minutes to fish, but why not, right? Well, what's that? Hang on a second. I'm walking along this edge here, seeing if there's any shore access right here, and look what I found. These are protected here in Florida. You'll find them in the roads. What's going on, bud? Oh, is that your hole right there? <laughs> Gopher tortoise? Yeah, see, I think his, his hole is here. And that's the thing is why if they make these holes, um, a lot of people think that they can just relocate them. They'll just basically, you know, till death looking for their other home. It's very hard for them to reestablish a new area to stay at. What's down here? This is pretty cool. Still would be kind of hard to get in here and fish, but... Huh. Interesting. This, what is this park is pronounced, I believe, good. Good park. I'm liking it. I'm guessing it gets pretty busy on weekdays. I got a drone buzzing me. Someone's flying their drone. That's cool. No signs say you can't fish here either. What do you guys say? Should we toss out a line? Looks kind of shallow. I'm thinking maybe toss out a shrimp. <laughs> I only got like 30 minutes, but we're gonna just cast out here a geode boat ramp. As you know, when I'm in a new spot, I like to try out my popping cork. Okay, so this one, what is it, Pollock or something like that, boat ramp? Limited parking, I'd say less than a dozen trailer parking. So if you got a trailer and then it's got some dirt parking um, up ahead. 
Well, well, all right, guys. Well, whew. February in Florida. I guess I shouldn't complain how warm it is today, but I should have wore a tank top. It's uh, sunny, sunny, sunny. Well, it's been 82 with a slight breeze. I'm loving it. Anyway, all right, so today we went and checked out Turkey Creek and uh, I wanted to check out three potential launch points for future kayak fun. And the first one, which I'll put over here, is more so for your lightweight kayak, small kayak, something that you can carry. Now, if you got wheels or something like that, it might be doable, but it's gonna be a B-I-T-C-H. The second spot, Good Park, probably be the place that I go to. It Just across the street, it has a pretty good size parking lot for trailers and cars and all that. It has a decent ramp for you to launch your kayak, and it's not that far from getting to all parts of the Turkey Creek or even the Indian River. The second one, uh, I can't for Pollock, Pollock. I can't remember I or pronounce the, the the name. I'll put that right here. That park, um, very limited parking. Nice boat ramp, but again, just very uh, limiting. I think there was there's probably just under a dozen actual parking spaces for trailers, and then a dirt grassy parking lot for those people with their vehicles. So again, if you're transporting your kayak on top of your car or whatever, you could probably use the first and second one. If you're like me and have a trailer or a pretty good sized kayak, I honestly recommend Good Park. But that park also, the Geo One, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, that park also has a pretty decent dock and, and bank line if you wanna do a little shore fishing. Uh, so, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, so we, I definitely think that maybe next week we'll get the kayak out there and maybe see how far it is to paddle up into the sanctuary area of Turkey Creek. It is just simply beautiful back in there. When I first moved out here, I used to go back there and check it out. Um, we only did just a, I only fished for maybe 30, 40 minutes and we didn't get any bites, but like I said, we were only out there for 30, 40 minutes just fishing the bow ramp just wanted to get a feel for it and of course i had to cast out a line so but yeah we'll give that shot uh a better review the next time we get the kayak out there or maybe i'll even go out there and do a little shore fishing we'll see all right well if you've stayed on this long congratulations because i have definitely gone off a ramp probably way too longer than i should have a lot of times this happens i end up just completely deleting it but I did forewarn everybody that this was gonna be a rant rave, more so vlog type video. So I might just leave it. Because if you're still here, then you're probably one of my OG fans and you're legitimately interested in seeing what I'm up to and all that stuff and much appreciated. I, I do appreciate you for staying tuned, watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Um, the more people push that like button, the more YouTube will then recommend the video to other people. Tomorrow's video should be a lot better and more action-packed. Hopefully we get on some fish. But anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Tight lines. Peace!